This is a screencast on using the SQL Server Compact 3.5 framework to use um, Link to SQL. And the, the problem is that if you just try and do it directly here in the Object Relational Designer, um, you want to add a new item and you pick Link to SQL and you say test.dbml and you say add. Um, it adds the designer, you get the design surface, but you can't go to your compact framework and just drag things the way you can with SQL Server. Um, you'll see it gives you this error that it's an unsupported data provider. doesn't mean you can't do it. it just means you have to use the command line tool to do it. So let's get test out of here because we're going to go recreate that. Okay. So the first thing to do is use the start menu and I unfortunately made my window a little bit high but I'm just going to click on the start menu. You'll see the menu pop up and go to wherever you happen to have uh, Visual Studio in, installed 2008. Go over to the Visual Studio Tools folder and you'll see there's a Visual Studio 2008 command prompt. You want to use this rather than the normal command prompt just so that all your paths and things are set up. Now my window is real big. Just resize that here. And I've changed the colors just so that when I've got multiple ones open I know which one's the Visual Studio one. And we'll just give ourselves a nice short little prompt here and we need to go to where, first step is go to where your project is. So I usually just use a folder from Explorer and just drag it over and then come back and hit enter and we'll be there. And the command you want is SQL Metal and if you've never used it just use the help operator and it'll come up with a list of all the options that are available for it up here and then some samples on how to use it at the bottom and so let's just use it SQL metal and we're gonna create a dbml file and we're gonna call it test um, test me dot dbml and we want to put that in the namespace that I'm using in the project I currently have open so just to make sure I get that right we'll just come here and copy that pop down here do the right click put it in there um, and then it just wants at that point where the database is and since we're in the correct directory we just need to give it the name hims1.sdf that's all there's to it hit return give it a few seconds it'll go ahead and create our dbml file come back over to visual studio come to our project right click and this time we say add existing item make sure you have all files selected and then you just go to there's the test uh, actually we called it that was another one I created so this is test me the one we just created you say add and now you'll get your design surface only this time it'll have your tables on it and there it is showed up there's test me and I'll go ahead and there you see the tables came in now you're good to go start programming against that context